So I have nothing to disclose for this presentation. So for next uh, about 35 to 40 minutes, we were talking about introduction relevant for this non neurodegenerative diseases. Then we talk about role of FDG PET in patients with epilepsy, then F role of FDG PET in various brain tumors, and last we will discuss about new other tracers relevant in brain tumor imaging. Let's talk about introduction for relevant for this talk. So in the introduction, we will again go through no a little bit about normal brain FDG distribution. Then we talk about the role of various drugs which can affect the cerebral metabolism. So I so. It's a lot of repetition, but I think if you know about the normal distribution, you will definitely be easy picking up abnormal distribution pattern of uh, FTG PET. So axial slices at the level of basal ganglia and axial slices at the level of lower brain where you see, can see the cerebral cortex as the cerebellum. So again, if, uh, so we usually follow the rule of 10 when evaluating the level of activity in the brain, cerebellum, and, and basal ganglia. So if you take the cerebral activity as 100, the activity in the basal ganglia is about 10% higher than the cerebral activity. And similarly, if you take the activity as 100, the activity in cerebral is approximately 10% lower than the cerebral activity. So another important thing when evaluating patients with temporal lobe epilepsy, because the most common uh, indication you will get when you do a PET, uh, PET scan will be for temporal lobe epilepsy. And the interior and medial temporal lobes usually have the lowest FTG activity in the brain. So always be careful when you want to evaluate the temporal lobe epilepsy in patients uh, on FTG PET. <clears throat> so how the various substances and medication affect the brain FTG uptake? So this is just a lo long list. Amphetamines has variable effect on low dose, it decreases the metabolism, whereas on high dose, it increases the metabolism, whereas on, on cocaine has other way in low doses or in a single shot will increase the brain FTG uptake, whereas chronic patient who is taking chronic cocaine will have long uh, decreased cerebral uptake, whereas all other caffeine, alcohol, anesthetics, benzodiazepines, corticosteroids, and various chemotherapies do affect or decrease the cerebral metabolism. So this is an example uh, we did a recently, a 60-year-old man on heavy dose of steroids for some autoimmune disease. FDG PET scan was performed for evaluation of occult malignancy. So when I saw this first uh, posterior and interior MIP image, I thought this is an inadequate study. But when you look carefully, there is no significant extravasation in the hand. And the liver uptake is good. But the brain uptake is almost comparable to the liver. So I discussed with my seniors, and uh, you can also see in the axial slices, there's no abnormality at least seen on this low dose CT but the cerebral cortical uptake is even lower than the cerebellum, and the entire cerebral cortical uptake is decreased. So we attributed this entire decreased metabolism to heavy dose of steroids in this patient. 